Well, the Tri-State Cares Telethon continues at Old National Bank's headquarters on Main Street. Joining me now is Theo Boots, Executive Director of the Southwest Indiana American Red Cross. The goal, obviously, here, Theo, so many people who need help uh, just right down the pike in western Kentucky and elsewhere. Uh, you tell me that when people have been calling in, you, you've been hearing some, some remarkable stories today. What can you tell me about that? It, it has absolutely been amazing. The out, it's been an outpouring of support. We had an individual call us from Maine who found the telethon on Google and they called in with a 5,000 donation, put it on their credit card and they're giving it as a gift to each other for Christmas. We've had two individuals who we helped during the local tornadoes in 2005 that lost everything and because of Red Cross providing assistance to them, it's a form of payback, they said, and they made a contribution. I mean, we had um, Deaconess just call in with a $10,000 pledge, Shoe Carnival, a $100,000 pledge, Country Mark, $10,000. Uh, Deaconess kicked it off this morning with 25,000, Heritage Federal with a $15,000 pledge. It has just really been amazing. And then, but individuals at, at the $50, $25, $100, $5, it doesn't matter. Whatever you can give, it's, it's, it's all adding up. And my goal is 200,000. And right now we're over 194,000. It's amazing. That is incredible indeed. And you know, Theo, this kind of underlines what we've been seeing on the ground in Western Kentucky. People who have lost everything are actually out trying to help other people. Uh, it is a remarkable uh, painting of America and the good of what people do, and that's, a, that's something that we can really use in these times. Uh, you've got people on the ground, uh, obviously throughout the country. Uh, President Biden, who was in Dawson Springs yesterday, said $99 billion of damage just this year uh, to areas that have suffered weather or climate related uh, damage. Uh, as a representative of the Red Cross, how do you react to that? That's a huge mountain to overcome. Uh, I was talking to a volunteer from Indiana who's down there now. She's the lead feeding person and she's been deployed many times over the years and many of them have been hurricanes. But she said this has been something no like she has seen. The, it is devastating there. And it's so close to home for us. So it's really hitting home hard. We know that the recovery is going to be long term. Red Cross is going to be there through the end. Um, right now, we've got 400 Red Crosses from around the country. And so I, well, I want to let you know, we need more local disaster volunteers that are trained and can be ready to go. We also have a couple open disaster employee positions. If you have an interest in being a Red Crosser, we urge you to call us. We want to talk to you about being a Red Cross and joining the team and being ready for your Red Cross. And blood donations are always important too, especially That's in these right. times. Well, we, I think, distributed like 200 uh, blood units because during the, the, the effects of this tornado. And that was blood on the shelf. We have to make sure that blood continues to stay on the shelf. It is incredibly uh, low right now. And so if you're interested, we need you to go, go to 1-800-RED-CROSS or redcross.org to find the closest blood drive to you and make your appointment and donate blood. It will take like 45 minutes to an hour to get it all done. Very easy process. All right. Theo Boots, the executive director of the Southwest Indiana American Red Cross, uh, continue to do this great work. And I got a feeling you're going to reach that goal tonight. Thank you so much Thanks. for talking to us. All right.